Hi guys, Aubrey here with All Ears English. Welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's episode, Lindsay and Michelle talk about the difference between the adjectives efficient and effective. They talk about workplace culture and is it more important to be efficient or effective? This is a great episode to think about these things. So give it a listen and go to allearsenglish.com slash fluency score to find out your level in English. You'll also get free resources at your level. So check it out today and enjoy today's episode with these great adjectives. This is an All Ears English podcast, episode 785, Efficient or Effective? How to Use Both Words in English. Welcome to the All Ears English podcast, downloaded more than 50 million times. We believe in connection, not perfection, with your American hosts, Lindsay McMahon, the English adventurer, and Michelle Kaplan, the New York radio girl, coming to you from Boston and New York City, USA. And to get your transcripts delivered by email every week, go to allearsenglish.com forward slash subscribe. Is efficiency or effectiveness more valued in your culture? Today, we chat about the words efficient and effective, and we show you how to use them for connection at the office. Hey, Lindsay, how are you doing? Hey, Michelle, I am doing good. And actually, today is a very special day. Do you know what today is? You don't know. That's okay. a special day? Wait, is it your birthday? It is my birthday. August 3rd is my birthday. Oh my gosh, crazy. Happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, I forgot wow, that. This year went fast. I feel like I, oh my gosh. I know it's insane. I just forgot that until I looked at the date that this is coming out. So today is my 36th birthday. Oh my gosh, I Yay! feel so old. It's crazy. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I'm old. That's okay. That's okay. I'm still young at heart. No problem. <laughs> but anyways, in the last couple of weeks, you know, I have felt very young because I've had the honor of talking to some of our listeners by Skype because we are talking to you guys about the app that we're developing. We're asking you about the features that you want in an app from All Ears English. And it's been a very, it's been so cool, like just to talk to our listeners, to see how and when you guys are listening to the show and to get your feedback. I mean, there's no better experience than to connect with our listeners here. What do you think about that? That, Michelle. That's great. So you're getting to talk to so I mean, how's it going? Like, what's your experience getting to talk to everyone? I'm excited to meet everyone in Boston. Oh, just so cool. You know, I can see that you guys are listening every day. You're, you know, you it's part of your life and that, you know, you guys are feeling inspired when you finish listening to the show. And that was our vision when we created the show. You know, our vision was we want you to we don't want you to feel like you're actually learning English. We want it to kind of feel like edutainment, like you're kind of having Mm. fun with us. You're chatting with us. And as a result of just hanging out with us four times a week, you actually are going to improve your English dramatically but it doesn't feel like you're in a classroom, right? Love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. So well, I, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to talk to some of our listeners as well. And you will, uh, you will in I, Boston very soon. I know. I can't wait. <laughs> yep. So close. Yeah. So that's great. So I mean, like, what are you doing, Lindsay, to make sure that this app is going to be efficient? Yeah, well, I think the process of building the app is more efficient because we're talking to our listeners. You know, a lot of people will build new products and they'll do it in total isolation. It's the number one biggest like sin when it comes to building technology products is doing it in isolation without any feedback from users. So this is going to be more efficient for us because we're going to build in hopefully the right features that you guys want instead of just guessing what you want and then wasting time. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's great. Yeah. I think that's so good that you're doing that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And I have another question. I mean, would you say, Lindsay, that it's more important to be effective or efficient in the workplace? Oh, my gosh. Such a tough question. I guess it depends on where you work, who your boss is and, you know, what your company values are. But I think it's more important to be effective because... If you're effective, but not efficient, at least you get things done. But if you're efficient, but you're not effective, then there's no point, right? You're doing things quickly, but you're not doing anything. 
you know? Yeah. 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 That's interesting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so guys, I don't know if you guys were paying attention to those words. So we, I asked Lindsay about the word efficient for the app. And then we talked about another word, effective, right? So yeah. and we're talking about this because that's our topic for today. We have a listener question, Lindsay. Yeah. Um, so about these two words, could you read us the question? Definitely. This is a question from Pavel. And he asked the question, hi, Lindsay and Michelle, thank you very much for your feedback. The podcast Lie Lay Lane is absolutely brilliant. And that's another episode we did, guys. You can search for that at allearsenglish.com. I've got one more question for you. Wouldn't you mind clarifying the difference between the words effective and efficient, if any? Thanks in advance, Pavel Agakin. Great question. Great question. I love that question. Super specific. I know. So cool. Yeah. And these words are often seen together in a phrase, right? To be effective and efficient too. I'm sure we'll yeah. talk about that. Yeah. 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 I mean, they're very, they're very similar. And that's why I think the question that I asked you was so hard because it's hard. Yeah. It's important. You want to be both really. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, there are a lot of similarities. I mean, for starters, uh, they're both adjectives, right? Effective and efficient. Yep. And would you say these are both, these both have like a positive or a negative connotation? Oh, well, definitely both are positive and efficient is especially positive in our culture, right? I think our culture oh, is. Oh, that's for sure. Oh, it's so culture. It's so built around efficiency. Although I don't know if our culture succeeds as much as other places in the world at being efficient, especially when you talk about like the subway. I mean, the subway, subway in Tokyo is so much more efficient than the New York subway. <laughs> oh, I, I, oh, you know, I, I love, I love Japan. <laughs> I know, Michelle. I know you love Japan. Everyone does. Everyone who goes to Japan <laughs> loves it, falls in love with the culture. So cool. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So, but let's, let's get into these into these words a little bit more. Um, so what what do they mean, Lindsay? Okay, so effective just means that you are successful in producing a desired or intended result. That sounded like a dictionary definition. <laughs> it sure does. And it was. Thank you, dictionary. Yeah, thank you, dictionary. So what's an example sentence then? Okay, sorry. Uh, effective solutions. This is also, I think, from the dictionary. Effective mm -hmm. solutions to environmental problems, especially yeah. of a system or machine. Yeah. I mean, basically just effective just means it gets the job done, right? It makes, it creates a solution. It solves a problem. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, for sure. Something that, that does well, right? <laughs> yeah. Something that works. Something that works. Okay. And then let's go into efficient, Lindsay. What does efficient oh. mean? Okay. I lost my place, but that's okay. I'll just improvise. Basically, efficient means that oh. you you are productive. Like you get things done quickly and you don't waste effort or, or money. Right? Nice job. You got yeah. it. So yeah. <laughs> it's uh I actually just lost my place too. So I'm <laughs> um efficient is achieving maximum productivity with minimum wasted effort or expense. So for example, um Sorry, one second. Now I'm... Yeah. Well, I, I have an example. So those new fluorescent lights, they say that they're efficient at converting electricity into light. So they're supposed to be, you know, the best kind of light you can buy. Do you have those in your house? Oh, those special lights? Actually, yeah, I just got them. You did? Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. The, hmm. the, yeah, the, the, uh, yeah, they're supposed to not waste a lot of energy. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Efficient. Hmm. I just had a thought, but I forgot it. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Right. Or you could use a person. You could say a person is efficient, right? So if they're like, you know, working in a well, uh, the, I think this is the dictionary too, working in a well-organized and competent way, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What I was thinking was multitasking. This oh, concept of yeah. multitasking. There's a lot of, there's always stuff in the news about this multitasking. I mean, do you think it actually is effective and efficient? Do you think it's to effective? Multitask? Yeah. Oh, I, I don't know. I mean, there's two ways of thinking about it. Either if you multitask, maybe you don't get too bogged down with one thing. And so maybe it's actually better. But in some mm. sense, maybe you spread yourself too thin. What's your experience? 
I don't know. I just feel like I always read the research. They do a lot of brain science research on this, and they say that it takes your brain a lot of time to center on a task. So if you're constantly moving your mind from one task to the next, mm. like web page uh, browsers, then you actually never really like go deep with anything. But that's the way we're starting to think now, right? That's, that's the way we're all thinking. Yeah. It's, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's such a good idea, but I do it. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so yeah so guys there are more so these are the basic definitions but you know there are more it can be used in more ways but the, let's use uh we're gonna use these to talk about work okay cool Hey guys, today is my birthday and our visions for All Ears English just keep getting bigger and better every year. But today I'd like to ask you to do two things. First, please hit subscribe on your podcast player so that you'll get updates from us four days a week. And second, please choose your coolest friend and share the show with that friend. Show them how to listen to the podcast and watch them change their ideas about learning English just like you did. Thanks guys. So, right, we said that effective is successful in a result, and efficient is there's a lot of productivity and not too much effort or time, right? Yeah, exactly. So let's give this a try with a little role play, Lindsay. Okay, so what do you think of my presentation, Michelle? Oh, Lindsay, it was incredible. I really think it was effective because the clients were taking a lot of notes and seemed interested in the sale. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, that sounds good, right? So yeah. um I think it was effective, right? So mm. what does that mean, Lindsay? So here it means like Yeah, I mean it means that it accomplished the goals that you wanted it to accomplish. It did the right thing. Exactly, exactly. So let's try efficient now. Okay. Okay, okay we're on debt we're on a deadline today. So stressful. It's okay, Michelle. I've figured out a way to be more efficient with the computer program. It's easier if you click all the graphs before you press enter. Great idea. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt I would figure that out. <laughs> uh, all right. So here, you know, you're able to get more done in uh, less time with less effort, right? Yep. You got it. Doing something faster. Yeah. Right, right. Exactly. All right. Mm-hmm. And now let's just talk about, uh, you know, if you're going to talk about a person with effective or efficient, you could say he's an effective worker or he's an efficient worker, right? Mm, Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Right. So another difference is that effective can be a noun or, um, or, uh, uh, sorry, effect. So like, for example, he has a positive effect on the office. Ah, okay. Interesting. Yeah. So he has, what's another way of saying that he has a positive, like impact. Yeah, positive impact. Positive I like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Very cool. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then we're not going to get too much into this, but mm-hmm. the word effect with an A, affect, uh, effect. Yeah. Effect. Yeah. Same pronunciation, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Because it can be an affect or an effect, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Um, so yeah, here you could say his casual, his cheerful demeanor affects the mood of the whole office. Mm, yeah, this is a common native speaker mistake. Um, oh, yeah, ter- it's even, I mean, I had to look it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the pronunciation in this case is the same, but it's the spelling is different and native speakers make this mistake all the time, guys. We may have done an episode on this, actually. I wonder if we did. Come back to allearsenglish.com and type in the search bar affect with an A and affect with an E and you'll get that episode. I bet we did one. Yeah, probably. But yeah, I mean, um, yeah, that's it's definitely a common mistake. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and Lindsay, so just one other quick question. What do you think our culture places more value on? And you, we touched on this a little bit. So mm-hmm. effectiveness or uh, uh, being efficient? Definitely efficiency. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't yeah. always agree with that, but yeah, it, it is what we do. So that's just the way it is. I mean, our our markets move so fast and we're such a like sales oriented culture. So I think like getting things done quickly is huge for us. Huge. Right, right. Yeah. Right, exactly. So let's do one more role play. Um, okay. And uh, we got a lot of them today. So we do. <laughs> in this role play, one feedback, one feedback. One colleague is giving another colleague feedback. Let's go for it. 
All right. So, Michelle, I think the pictures you used uh, for that PowerPoint presentation, they were really effective in getting across our overall message. Thanks, Lindsay. PowerPoint is such an efficient way to present. It's so easy to uh, to add pictures. That's true. But you're particularly good at deciding which pictures to add. (laughs) Thanks. So the fact that our boss is so open to creativity has such a positive effect on my work because I'm not confined to so many rules. I completely agree. It affects my overall creativity, too. (laughs) Okay, great. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, so here we use in a couple different ways. So let's go through it. So I said the PowerPoint, uh, you said the PowerPoint presentation, uh, the pictures were effective. So we mm-hmm. talked about that. That means they worked, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And then I talk about PowerPoint being efficient, right? It works well, not, not too much effort necessarily, right? Yep. And then you said the fact that our boss is so open to creativity has a positive effect on my mood. So a positive impact, right? Correct. Right. Right. Exactly. And then it affects my overall creativity too. Wow. Our listeners are learning a ton of new stuff today. We have efficient, effective, effect, and effect. Wow, guys, you're definitely going to want to grab the transcripts for today, right? If you go over to allearsenglish.com forward slash subscribe and come back to the blog too. What episode is this, Michelle? Uh, This is 785. Yeah, 785. Wow. Yeah, I know. Crazy. So many episodes. (laughs) So many episodes to choose from. So anyway, anything else that you want to say to our listeners, Lindsay? Well, you had a little bonus thing here today, Michelle. Did you have a little like a bonus tip here? Yeah. So, I mean, guys, again, don't get too stressed out by this. But there's also affective with an A, Mm. right? Yeah. And this Mm -hmm. is usually used in psychology. So, for example, seasonal affective disorder, that would be with an A. Yeah. That word is more about feelings. Right. Right. Yeah, exactly. And emotions. That's a much quite a bit more advanced word to use. But you guys can look it up and check it out and take note when the native speakers use it. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you for listening. And thank you for that great question. Yeah, so good. All right, Michelle, thanks for hanging out. I hope you have an effective and an efficient evening. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, Lindsay. You too. (laughs) Take care. Bye. Bye. Thanks so much for listening to All Ears English. And if you need a seven or higher on your IELTS exam to achieve your life vision, then our insider method can get you there. Start with our free video series masterclass. Get video one now at allearsenglish.com forward slash I-N-S-I-D-E-R. And if you believe in connection, not perfection, then subscribe to our show on your phone or on your computer. See you next time.